The man accused of trying to kidnap two girls in two separate incidents was arraigned today in Clinton Township and in Sterling Heights District Court. 23-year-old Endy Bala is charged with two counts of attempted kidnapping and faces life in prison. Our Gino Vici spoke with the aunt of one of the victims, and Gino, she stepped in to stop this kidnapping from happening. Oh, I got to tell you, she acted bravely and in only a split second risked her life to make sure the alleged kidnapper did not get away with her niece, and it was all caught on surveillance footage. I really don't have words. I know this stuff happens. You see it on TV, you see it on the, you know, social media, but um, the fact that it did happen, um, it just, it's, it's appalling. Alicia Swiatkowski is still shaken up after police say it was this man, 23-year-old Endy Bala, who tried to kidnap her niece in broad daylight Tuesday afternoon. Swiatkowski says her niece was on her bike here at Clinton River Park North in Sterling Heights. When police say Bala got out of his vehicle, grabbed her, Sterling Heights PD provided us with this shocking surveillance video. You can see Swiatkowski running for her life to Bala's vehicle. He got out of the car and I just started screaming at her to run and we met in the middle. I dove through his window and just like snaked my arm through the driver wheel as much as I could so that he couldn't, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't go. I, I did, my biggest fear was losing her. I just held on for dear life. Well, she did hang on for life, and within moments, a citizen on patrol, Scott Van Leuven, pulled in front of Bala's vehicle with his pickup truck and stopped him in his tracks. Swiatkowski says she can't imagine what Bala would have done to her niece if he got away. I don't know his intent with her, but I know he was trying to take her from me, and it almost worked. Bala, who was arraigned this afternoon in Sterling Heights on kidnapping charges, was also arraigned in Clinton Township, where he's accused of doing the same thing to a 15-year-old girl. Swiatkowski's own son, also seven years old, was hit by Bala's vehicle, but he's okay, and considering the traumatic incident, Swiatkowski says the kids are doing fine. It's going to be um, an interesting road. They've said a lot of things um, that you don't expect to ever hear from your child, um, but... Hopefully, since they we have the ending that we do, um, that they will be vigilant in their lives ahead. I'm just so grateful that it ended the way it did, but I hope that he not only gets the mental help that he needs, but does not see the light of day again. Well, back here live now, Bala will not see the light of day, at least not until his next court date in Clinton Township. When he was arraigned, he was issued a $2 million cash bond, but here in Sterling Heights, he was denied bond if convicted. He'll spend the rest of his life behind bars. In Sterling Heights, Gino Vici, CBS News, Detroit.